Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kay. I'm a professional organizer and soprano here in the Boston area and I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. So this week we're going to do a little uh, clean with me sort of get ready for the week with me video on usually Sunday afternoons or even Monday mornings. I usually do a big clean and organize and get ready for the week. I usually prep our food for the week. I prep, um, I do all the laundry, all the necessary cleaning. So I'm going to take you through that routine and show you what I do to get ready for the week so that we can have a nice smooth work week. I hope watching this will get you motivated to do your like weekly prep routine or even like establish one. If you actually have a weekly prep routine, let me know down in a comment below what your weekly prep routine is like for the week and uh, we'll talk about it. All right. First, we Clover went out for a walk. He went to the park and he's really tired. He looks like he wants to get on the bed, but the first thing I have to do actually is strip all the bed linens and wash them. So I don't think you're gonna be able to get on the bed, friend. I know, you had so much fun at the park. We'll put a little park footage here. <laughs> you always stop to whine when you're here, but you gotta take a, take a poop, a pee. All right, now you're ready. Now you're ready. We're not going in the big one. We're not going in the big one. Where's he going? Uh All right, let's get ready for the week together. I wanted to share my weekly reset routine because Lately, I've been finding as this routine has evolved, I've been finding it really beneficial for both my mental health and my actual overall health. Caring for my house and caring for my environment and just sort of pressing the reset button on the environment really sets the tone for the entire work week. It keeps me focused. I think it keeps my husband focused. It might even keep Clover focused, but it just starts out every end of the weekend. I usually start this routine on Sunday afternoon and finish on Monday morning or Monday afternoon. Oh, this is how I water my Monstera because she's so big. I have to stick her in the sink and put some water at the bottom. She only likes being watered from the bottom. Otherwise she gets a little root rot. So I, uh, that's, yeah, that's part of my weekend routine. Anyway, I just love doing this and it, it does seem like a little a long time if I'm starting on Sunday afternoon and finishing on Monday morning or Monday afternoon, but the things that I get done are, are just affect my week so much that I wanna encourage you if you've been putting it off, just get started. You don't even have to do it all at once. I'm cleaning up the kitchen and you're gonna see me do this multiple times during this video because we live and work from home now and so we, have a lot of dirty dishes and it just is part I've just accepted that it's part of the whole workflow instead of being annoyed by it I'm just trying to be one with it <laughs> and just be accepting of more of the unpleasant or unsavory chores that I have to do they just are part of life and that's totally fine Here I am navigating the fridge. My husband and I had gone to two different shopping trips and it was a mess. It doesn't look too bad, uh, but I just had to organize it a little bit, cut up some vegetables, put them in some containers just so the fridge was easier to navigate because sometimes I just can't handle it if there are just too many bags and things in the fridge. Yes, all done. I was soaking some chickpeas because in, at the beginnings of the weeks, sometimes I like to make falafel bread. It's a beautiful bread recipe from Down Shiftology. I will share it down below. 
I'm also caring for my Roomba, which does a lot of work for me. It gets a lot of hair stuck in it, dog hair, I think especially, but, um, and I was replacing the little brush because back when I had just started using it, I didn't realize that the brush couldn't handle shag carpets. So it had completely just torn off all of the little brushes from that. So it has a brand new brush head on it. Anyway, I'm folding up all of my workout clothes that I'd used during the week and it actually made me feel really good to fold them all up because it meant that I had worked out that many times during the last week and I had been putting off addressing my dirty clothes, which were now clean. <laughs> I said dirty clothes, but they're just the pile of clean clothes that I took out of the dryer. If you have this pile of clothes in your room right now, go and put it away. While I'm talking to you, we can do it together. We can be totally motivated together. I know that this can sit there for a few days and you're just like, oh, I don't want to do it. It's so difficult, but trust me, if you do it now, better now and you'll get to sit around and chill later like I am. I find that taking things out of the washing machine and giving them a quick shake can actually prevent and uh, get out some wrinkles before you put them into the dryer. So next time you have some clothes and they get wrinkled all the time in the dryer, just give them a good shake. Then I tossed all of my linens, all of our bath linens, towels, and carpets in the washing machine. It does a pretty good job of washing all of these bulky items and not getting, you know, unbalanced. Then it was time for me to edit. I now have two YouTube channels and I'm doing a lot more editing than I have before, but I do time batch my time. <laughs> I meant to say time block my t my calendar so that I know when I'm supposed to do one thing and when you know when I'm supposed to be doing the other. Again, bathrooms. We're doing the bathrooms. <laughs> Toilets first because it's the most unpleasant and then we move on to sinks and floors and that's pretty much it. Bathrooms are pretty easy. I mean, you know, occasionally we do the take out the trash and stuff. I actually clean the shower in the shower so that's not something you'll see me do on video because it's just something I find easy to do while I'm in the shower. I'm already in there. It's already wet. So <laughs> I am only using gentle cleansers though, I must say. Anyway, here I am mopping the floor with my Maker's Clean mop. I love this swivel mop. It's amazing and it's come, it's got a, an amazing microfiber cloth on the end. Uh, one cloth is like scrubby and the other cloth is nice and smooth. And then I'm grabbing my cleaning supplies to do the next bathroom because if you're like me, you mop yourself and sweep yourself out of spaces. And when I you know, would have got to the finish line there, I would have been trapped without my cleaning supplies because I always do two bathrooms in a row. I always do the master bath first and then I do the guest bathroom. It's just part of my cleaning routine. <laughs> Here I am again mopping this floor. I Again, I just love this mop. It's so easy to use and the microfiber cloths are so easy to clean. They are fantastic, so I highly recommend. They are worth every penny. And that was all for Sunday. I just stopped working and the next morning I started my week off with my weekly live stream over on my gaming channel. We go live at Monday morning at 5.30ish, sometimes six, and we have a good start to the week. I forgot that you can't like just walk over this towel. All right, we're setting the tone. We're setting the tone. We're setting the tone. All right, I'm done live streaming. I just, it's raining outside and I don't know if Clover is gonna wanna walk outside in the rain, he hates it, it's like pouring outside, so maybe I won't wake him up right away for breakfast. I'll just maybe wait till it stops a little bit, I don't know. He usually does, he usually eats around eight o'clock, 7.30. It's about, what time is it now? It is 8.12, so it's time for him to eat. I don't know, and my husband's usually in charge of it, but like when it's raining, I'm usually the one who um, can get him to walk outside and do his business, so we'll see what happens.
Okay, it's 10 o'clock and I'm running behind schedule, but only because my husband and I had a nice breakfast together. We were bonding, we were having some fun, watching some videos, making jokes, um, you know, having a time. And um, Clover's here. He's just been playing the ball. So he's like, why, are, why have you stopped? I got his ball throwing machine out and he loves this thing. You want me to do it another time? Okay, you want a couple more times? Here. Only these like little tiny balls fit. Okay, here we go. There it goes. He loves this thing, but he doesn't really know how to use it yet. One day he's gonna learn. Uh-oh, that's the wrong ball apparently. So we have to get it, we have to get the right one. Which one's the right ball, buddy? Oh, it's the one you were just playing with, huh? But you chewed this up! And it's not gonna go through the machine like if it's, well, here we go, I warned you. I warned you. See, it got stuck, it got stuck. There, it came out. Yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> that one almost hit him in the face. Ready? This is what we've been doing for the last, like, 30 minutes. Okay, I didn't film this, but I did put all the towels back into, and the linens, ooh. I put all the towels and the linens back in the bathrooms. So that's already been done, let's see. Well, my side doesn't have anything, but my husband is, leaves all the stuff on the, it's just a, but you know what? It's clean. We've cleaned everything. All the linens are clean. <sighs> okay, it's time to make the bed and open the windows because, well, it's raining outside, so there's not much light, but we're going to do the best we can with today. <laughs> I find that if I make my bed every single morning, it really starts my day on the right note or off to the right, off on the right foot. What, what is the phrase I'm looking for? Anyway, it starts my week out right and starts my day out right if I make the bed every single flipping day, no matter whether or not I'm going outside, whether or not I get back into it at some point during the day, I always try and take the time to make my bed, make it look neat and tidy so that by the time I go to bed at night, it looks nice. And here I am cleaning up the kitchen again. I will clean up the kitchen at least four other times on this day because on Monday, I prep all of our healthy snacks during the week. Not to say that we don't eat um, unhealthy snacks. I've cleaned up the kitchen. It's time for me to make the falafel bread, um, maybe make the banana balls as well, <laughs> the banana energy balls, and to cut up some vegetables for like pre-process, some mise en place. I know that when you cut vegetables um, in advance, this sort of, lose a little bit of their nutrients um, but it's just easier if I like pre-cut celery <laughs> pre-cut cucumber pre-cut carrots just so we can eat them oh I'm also gonna make some hummus so we're gonna see if I can get that done within the next hour and then I think we'll be done prepping for the week see these are all done soaking so we should have a nice time making our falafel bread I started making this falafel bread a couple of months ago I got it from a website well it's a YouTube channel also called Downshiftology. I will link her channel down below. It is amazing, but it has all kinds of healthy whole food recipes that you can eat during the week so you don't have to, uh, you know, eat junk. <laughs> so that you can eat stuff that you feel good about. Not, no, you know, not to say that I don't eat the occasional junk food, but mostly I try to have healthy foods available. This is my favorite spatula right now from, uh, I got this from Tovolo, Ogus. Tovolo, Tavolo, whatever. But it's great because you can like get everything in here, you know? Just smash it down, it's small enough. It spreads all around in here. All right.
gonna do the hummus or the banana thing. Let's do the hummus because I have stuff out already. Let me just clean up a little bit before I do the hummus. I think I went in reverse order because I think I did the banana bite, banana bread balls <laughs> bites. We're going to call them banana bread bites because that's the best name I can think of right now for them. But I think I did that first, um, but I also wanted to cut up some veggies, cut up some celery, but don't do that. Put water in afterward. Oh my gosh, when will I ever learn? I also got up some carrots because they actually keep pretty well in water during the week. They stay nice and crispy and cold in the fridge. So that way they don't dry out and get all gross and mushy. You just take them out and eat them and they're perfect. That way you got healthy snacks ready to go. I also did the same thing with radishes because radishes are also a good snack or they, they go well in salads. Uh, right now I'm doing the banana bread energy balls. These are so good, also gluten-free. They have oats, banana, uh, maple syrup, cinnamon, and just nuts. Like I used pecans and walnuts. Uh, no, I'm sorry, pecans and almonds and they are delicious and very, very filling as well. Here I am cleaning the food processor for the third time. <laughs> and lastly, I was making my hummus. I just liked to make lemon hummus usually. I I don't, sometimes I make roasted garlic hummus, but mostly just lemon hummus. I just put chickpeas, a little bit of tahini, because I don't really like tahini that much, some lemon juice from one lemon, and some cumin, salt and pepper, olive oil, and we are ready to go and then we were done prepping i had to clean up my kitchen and we were set for the week okay we've got the falafel bread in the oven we've got the energy balls firming up i think they're probably firm i'll just stick them in a bag or something put them in the freezer we've got vegetables pre-cut for snacks as well as homemade lemon Thomas, I think we are ready to go for the week. Uh, I'm also kind of tired of prepping food, so I'm gonna stop. Got the dishwasher going, probably gonna start the Roomba soon, but we are ready for the week. I'm gonna start editing. I'll leave some recipes for the um, things that I'm making down in the description below. They are from uh, Down Shiftology. They're really great recipes, except for the hummus. That's my own like making stuff up. So I'll try to put that into some words so you guys can understand. I hope this inspires you to prep and get ready for the week so that you can have a nice smooth work week. And uh, if not, then I hope you just enjoyed the video. All right. I hope you're having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are. I'll see you in the next one.